looking good in there. Welcome on back to the channel, everybody. If you missed the last video, we did bass fishing out here on Big Sam Rayburn. And this lake is uh, it's one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country and one of the biggest. Uh, me and Matt, we have a tournament out here next month. And if you guys have been following the, uh, the tournament series we've been doing on the Guggen Squad channel, uh, you know this is our, our last tournament of the year for the team, uh, the team series. But, uh, as you guys know, in my, in my previous life, I was a, I was a sales rep and uh, I sold fishing, fishing stuff and I was a fishing guide and all that stuff. But in my journeys, I've met, uh, met a friend named Shane and he is, uh, the owner of a store called Tackle Addict over here on, uh, Big Sam Rayburn Lake. And, uh, he's also a dang good angler and some of my best crappie trips ever have been with him and it's something we both enjoy doing so we got a cooler and we're gonna fill it up y'all we've got some good jig heads we've just got almost final uh, plastics with us things we're working on we're gonna fill the boat with them today and Matt is gonna are you I, I feel like you're gonna sneak in a bass rod or something I've, I've left some bass rods on the deck here yeah I see everyone else me and Shane have two crappie poles and then Matt has got you know, he wants he wants that big ass bass. I, I don't blame him. You're on they're gonna be Raver. They're gonna be around when we're fishing. I a hundred percent agree. Can't uh, leave them there. And one of my favorite things about crappie fishing is you run into big bass. It's just where they kinda co mingle. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Uh should be colder. I wish we uh could wear the hoodies all day. By the way, new merch dropping. What is it dropping? Like, this is going to be a hot minute. We're dropping uh, certain things like by week. It's got pit vents in it. Um, you can wear these hoods running down the lake in your boat. They're very form fitting. And uh, they have this huge pocket here that is perfect for putting all your, your dangle supplies in the front pocket to keep your hands warm. You know, it's just the perfect fall hoodie, early spring hoodie. You know, when this is my favorite time the year to fish like weather wise because you get the sandals or the crocs with the shorts and a hoodie like when you can fish in that setup all day and not get hot that's when the fall fishing is really good i think it's down to that science link down below googlesquat.com pay attention all new merch dropping in the month of november you ready ready let us go fish shane what is the, what's the crappie scene out here right now crappie scene in the fall Oh man, it's usually pretty good. It gets better after a long summer of pressure from live scoping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from everybody and their mom who's got live scope now. Look around, figure out what depth they're on. This lake has got more fresh brush piles than I've ever encountered. They seek some brush out here for sure. We got some some heads and some baits. And... Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, we got you, we got you covered, man. We got got new stuff out here. Okay, boys, show me where the nectar is. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the live well ready. Might as well just keep it open. I have to gonna have to go with that eighth ounce, I think. The old ten footer. They're kind of they're in that in between. 
yeah. section there. Look at them in there. Man, look at that pole yeah. you got there. Oh yeah. What is that? This is the this is the scope plucker, dude. <laughs> the scope plucker. <laughs> just, just stick it out there where that scope is. Oh, I'm going in. There he is. He's coming. Got him. Ah. Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's coming to get it. Be a champion. Be a champion for me, please. There he is. Got him. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you see how far I swung him from, from out of that tree? That's where that 10 footer is crazy. Solid crappie. No need to measure. Matt hooked up. There you go, bud. Oh my gosh, that's a mondo. Is that even a crappie? Woo! Dad gum. Okay. Yeah. Now you're getting down with them ET ways. Get in there and just give him a little, give him a little sass. This is fishing now. This is just how guys fish offshore. Just all stand up the front. Stare at the screen. Stare at screens. Fight over real estate. <laughs> there he comes. It. It's over. He didn't eat it. Oh my gosh, you can see his tail just flickering on it. He didn't eat it. I saw him come up to it. I need a color switch. Twenty-five a piece. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, they're on me. Oh, Come try. on. Oh, you're getting tagged. Yeah, you know. oh, you're good. You're good, dude. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go light. Break out my secondary unit, my sidearm. Just a little oh, hot pink dangle. Oh yeah, little flickets. Come on, baby. Got him. Ooh. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Big white, big white crappie. I got him. We're on. Hooked up. Hooked up, buddy. Look at this one. Oh, he's, he's just, you know, he's a good keeper. Okay. Okay. Get it figured out. Sounds like I need a downside. The, uh, the, yeah. the, the light head is the program. I really like that, just super slow, little hover in there. Come on, Eat it. Come on boys, oh. there you go. Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh. Got him. Got him. Big boy, come on now. On the pink. Got him on the pink? Oh yeah. Solid one. I think he's probably ten and a half. Double check. Double check the units. Definitely. Eleven. If you're ten, you're in. I got him on the back side that time. This is it right here now. Come on, go down there. Y'all come on in. Oh, he's coming here to come. I need to throw mine farther. Got him. Damn, right. he's, he's got some shoulders. Yeah, there you go. Big boy. Hey. <laughs> I might need to change my cricket. It's a little different. Look for him. 
Throw a little electric chicken or black chartreuse. Good night. Give them that albino shed, some nests. I'm going down there. There he Get is. Him. Get him, Shane. He's right on the line. He's coming. Oh, he's on it. They're all staring at it. Got him. Locked him up? Socked him up. There's another one right behind him. There we go. That's a big boy. Get a shot of him. That's what you come to Sam Raven for right there. Oh, don't let him go. Don't let him go. <laughs> it's like, that's like green gold right there. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh. He came out all hot and bothered. I am no oh. oh, yeah. Didn't even see it happen. It just happened. Healthy. Wow. Big. Healthy. Big boy. Oh no. Damn, I saw you moved out of the way too. I was sorry. We had it coordinated. I felt like we had some. That was just my bad. Wow. There we go. Damn it, I can't get off. <sighs> Got the broke off the leader. He didn't use oh. a leader. You go straight braid? <laughs> straight braid action. Oh, damn. <laughs> they won't bite it. What is their problem? I think you gotta just basically do a paintbrush on the brush. Like they, they were not coming out. They come look at it, but they're eating it close to the brush. Dude, there's a lot in there. Like this is, this is now we're now we're working with it. Now here we we're, go. Now we're in the meat factory here. Here we go. Wah bam! <laughs> Joinked him right in the schnooter. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, it's looking good in there. Shane Camel came out, came out of ways. Little jumper, big boy. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's why the Yeti 110 was invented. Just for this. Not to get popped. Just yeah, dad gum. <laughs> oh, he's coming out. Oh, this is gonna get the school fired up right here. Jaws are gonna be chomping. Oh, it's crappy though. Is it? Yeah. Good one. Feel by his jowls. Figured out. Right in the apex of the the tree there. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. using a uh, eighth ounce uh, might even be a sixteenth I think we're using sixteenths now and it's just a slow fall you see it on live scope and we're about 15 20 feet away from the brush and then it sinks down and we're having to basically I call it painting the tree it's like just imagine that you're taking a paintbrush and you're just painting right along the edge or tracing with uh with your jig so watching that on live scope another thing i like with live scope even if you're not watching the fish you know on your bait is just seeing your bait flash in that zone and knowing when to stop it so you can see where the fish are you can see when to stop your bait and know that you're fishing in the right depth so used to when we were crappie fishing we would just count it down you'd have to remember you know i got two big pulls off my rod you know that's probably 12 foot deep or you just count it down you get used to fishing the same weight and you just know you know the timing but having the live scope is really nice another thing that these fish are in is in fresher green brush piles like leaves on them crappie fishermen are always planting fresh green piles i guess it attracts bait and then and the crappie come towards it so we've caught way more in the brushy stuff than we have in the more open older brush piles but it's really fun man i just i love crappie fishing we're getting a cooler full to take home there's nothing better than fresh crappie i think i'm gonna i'm gonna switch it up a little bit seems like they're going with more of the natural colors so 
So I'm going to switch to uh, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite bass fishing colors that we have, which is called natural. It's called natural. It's a little um, pearl belly, pearl with blue fleck, and then green, uh, like a watermelon at the top, and just kind of imitates everything. Imitates shad, bluegill, but uh, this water's really clear, and that's a good color for clear water. So I think I'm going to try that. There he is. There he is. Come on, get it. Oh, dude, turned it down. Can we go find another one? We can go find another, if you got time. Yeah. Yeah, just get that <laughs> swim in. I mean, you kind of covered the whole part of the boat with that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a giant bass up here. Giant bass? What do giant we need? Bass on camera. What, what do we need to throw Big on? Big worm or crankbait. I don't want to see some catch up. Big worm. Shane, show us how it's done, dude. I don't know. This one y'all. I, I would love to see the, the mayor of bass build show us how to properly pluck a big one. <laughs> right now, uh, Matt's throwing a crankbait trying to pluck one of these large, large mouth off off the brush pile. We'll large see. predatory fish. See if he can connect. Mondo worm deployed. So you keep it about 65, 70 feet out. Educational to watch. <laughs> I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. I just want to catch it. That's a big old dot. It's big glob. Big girl. You want to try to bring it above her or? She's coming right in it right now and she's swimming to it. Yeah, I saw that. She ain't gonna do it. Now, if you were in a tournament, would you fish? I'd come back here. You'd come back and four times. Wait till <laughs> she wait till she's ready. Yeah. You yeah. He wants to go mondo. I like it. Oh, he's going after him. Come here, big boy. I think it came out and chased it. Got him. Oh! Big it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's cool, man. Look at that big boy! Yeah. Your heart skipped the beat when it went cold. Did I saw that? I saw that fish swim out. And I was like, is it chasing it? Is it chasing it? <gasps> Doing. That, that was cool. That is 100% Shane Campbell right there. I had my chance. We pulled up. He's like, there's a big one in that pile, and he was right. Good that big. was awesome. So just working the working the uh, the worm over the pile, it was like the bass was sitting at the top, and then it just came over. Doinked! 
Doink that Mondo worm, baby. Love to see it. Back down there, eat some crappie. I will end my day with that. I think it's a great way to end. Oh. oh my goodness, what a way to end it, y'all. You know, like we talked about in the beginning of this video, one of my favorite things about crappie fishing at lakes like this is you got the chance to catch a big old bass. And we did. Mondo worm deployed right at the top of the pile and she ate it. So it was a beautiful thing. I was just happy to end on that. Now it's time to head back. Got a cooler full of crappie and meat haul successful. There is a dozen crappie in there mixed with the, or I'm sorry, over a dozen. I got 14 and then mixed with the five I had yesterday. And that is, that is a good haul. I haven't had fried crappie in a little while. Love to see that. If you guys are wondering about crappie baits, spring of 2022, that's when it's all going down. So we're making some final tweaks and uh, getting the packaging and everything like that. But snatch them you know i'm going to take these back to uh the family and then it is time to go on some deer hunting missions that is going to be next in the videos i've been putting in the time it's time to get osg on a deer and we're going to see how the family does just do some family camping and, and try to get on some deer so thank you guys for tuning in for an awesome episode out here on uh on sam rayburn I want to thank shane for taking us out today and we're going to be back here in a few weeks to do our tournament and hopefully we can pluck some good ones like we did uh, at the very end of the day. But I think we had a good practice. I think we learned some things. Felt much better about the I lake. feel way better about coming back out here uh, yeah. in a month. Built some confidence. So all good stuff, guys. Go ahead and smash that like button for putting crappies in the cooler. God bless you and all your outdoor adventures. I'll see you on the next one.